Padre is a technology that's going to the moon to demonstrate how multiple robots can work together as a team cooperatively and autonomously at the same time. We're going to have three robots on the base station. They each have what we call multi-agent autonomy, meaning a, a, another layer of autonomy that allows them to work together as a team. So we no longer have to micromanage what each one of the robots is doing. We don't tell them, you know, this is what you should do, this is what the other one robot should do. But really, we just give the team an overall objective, like explore this area. And then they elect the team leader amongst themselves, and then they plan how to divide that problem up, execute it, and send us back the data. This is one of the three rovers that we're going to send to the moon that's made it to what's called a deployer. And the deployer helps the rover to detach from the lander and get onto the surface of the moon. And the rovers have these solar panels, which are actually folded right now in the stowed condition. Once the lander lands on the moon um, and the rover egresses from the lander, they'll open up their solar panels to start charging. They also have a battery here for the initial part of the mission uh, before they open up the solar arrays. So once uh, it's on the surface of the moon, we have these wheels that would help it uh, drive on the surface. We designed the wheels such that the dust doesn't keep up and deposit on the solar panels or radiators when it's driving. There's a pair of stereo cameras on this side and a pair of stereo cameras on the other side. So if the rover doesn't get a good image from one set of cameras, because say the sunlight is in its eyes, if you will, it can drive using the other side of cameras uh, backward. Each of these rovers has uh, what we call a ground penetrating radar, which will help it uh, map the subsurface of the moon. So it has these white cylinders. That's the, the antenna that it uses to do those measurements on the surface of the moon. When you just bring a gr single ground penetrating radar, you end up with this 2D image of the subsurface. But once you have the ability to deploy multiple ground penetrating radars into an environment, you can actually do 3D imaging. You gain the ability to be a lot more accurate with what you're able to see because they're measuring not only their own radar signals that they're sending into the ground, but also those of others. And you're able to kind of correlate that and, and, and get a better science data product out of that. On the Cadre system, if we, for example, wanted to measure more deeply into the subsurface, the robots would basically figure out we need to go and spread out uh, and take measurements further apart. Or if they want to measure more shallow, they group together more closely. So you have quite a bit more flexibility in, in the system to kind of almost tune how you want that distributed instrument uh, to work. And then you could also think of a variety of other uses for such a multi-agent system for exploration purposes. For example, where maybe you want to have a communication chain to reach new areas that you couldn't with a, with a single robot. Getting to ex extreme terrain, uh, places that you wouldn't normally be able to send humans to, like lava caves or uh, you know ice caves. Uh, but also in combination with human astronauts, rovers can be used for sample return or uh, uh, surface uh, mapping and, and exploration and, and things like that. Instead of asking ourselves, what can this rover do? We will be asking, how many rovers do we send and what can they do together? So for example, if one of the rovers were to go into an extreme terrain and not survive, the other rovers will still be able to return the data because they've all been working together as a team. So it builds up resiliency of the experiment. Fundamentally, this will change how we explore the moon or, or any planetary body. Once we show this successfully working on the moon, we could potentially send this same technology to anywhere, right? To Mars, to ocean worlds, to other kind of terrain. But also the autonomy software can be ported to not just rovers, but uh, it could be drones. It could be a combination of rovers and drones. So the possibilities are endless. Folks are maybe now going to be inspired not to just think about, OK, well, maybe I'm going to send one robot there. and What can I do with it? But what could I do with more robots, right? Like, what does that enable me to do for the science that I care about, for the exploration that I care about? Autonomy can really help us explore you know, further into our solar system.